Hey guys, this is Laura, your Jam Jar Junkie. I'm extremely excited to share with you guys the jar we're going to be working on this week. We'll be making a pumpkin jar in time for fall. We are going to be using an orange marmalade jar this time because I like the ridges along the side that will be easy to follow along as we make our pumpkin. You will be using your lid this time to decorate, so make sure that you set your lid to the side and save it. You'll need to make sure that you've removed all of your labels from your jar. You can use some warm soapy water to help if you need to. Use a cotton ball with some alcohol to rub along the sides to remove any fingerprints or residue along the bottom and the rim. And then you can rinse your jar off with some clean water. Wait for your jar to dry and then you will be ready to paint it. Make sure that you have weighted down the sides of your newspaper if you're using newspaper and shake your can of paint and you can get started. Make sure to paint along the top, bottom, sides. Remember, turn your can sideways to get along the rim. You can also go ahead and spray the top of your jar as well. You may want to spray it twice to make sure that you have a nice thick layer of paint on it where you cannot see the label. After you have checked your jar to make sure that it's dry, you can bring it back inside and the first thing that we're going to work on is the lid. We are going to be adding a stem and some leaves to the lid to make it look like a real pumpkin. You can use a cork or a wooden piece like I'm using and we're going to glue it down. I have some all-purpose glue. We also have some brown oxide paint and some orange paint and I have some clear paint to paint the stem. The first thing you're going to want to do is paint a little bit of brown and orange mixed together around where you're going to put your stem to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush to mix the colors together just a little bit to give it a dark orange feel, almost brown like a stem would be when it's coming out of the pumpkin. You don't want to use straight lines because when the stem comes out of the pumpkin, it's kind of sporadic looking. So you're just going to kind of make yours look the same way. You can skip this step if you would like. When you are done painting, give it a little time to dry. Then you'll be ready to glue your stem down. After you've given your jar enough time to dry, you'll want to go ahead and glue your wooden piece down to the top of the lid. Put enough glue to hold it. You can add a little bit of paint to your stem if you'd like. We're going to cut off one of our leaves. And we're going to glue that to the top as well. And hold it in place for just a few minutes until the glue starts to dry a little bit. You can definitely stop here depending on your comfort level and put your pumpkin jar together once your glue has dried. And I think that already looks like a cute little pumpkin. I would suggest going over your stem with a clear coat and also your jar with a clear coat as well to seal your paint and your wood. Also, you might like to tie some of the jute cord around your jar. For those people who want to take it up a level, I'm going to show you how to paint along the sides of each one of these little ridges just to give it a more pumpkin feel, a more realistic feel. So we mix this brown oxide with the orange flame. So we're going to mix some of that together again. When you have the shade that you like, you can start painting along the ridges. When I finish doing the ridges, I'm going to go back in here and fill in just a little brown around the bottom like you would see on a real pumpkin as well. I just finished putting the lines on the jar. I hope you guys can see that I was going for a very subtle look. I put them all the way around on all the ridges. So now I'm going to go in there like I told you and add just a little bit of that color around the bottom. I 
And as you're painting this, you're going to want some of those little streaky lines coming up that makes it feel like a real pumpkin would have. It's very, very subtle. But I think it's began to come together and look a little bit more like a pumpkin. So we just have a few more finishing touches to put on it and we'll be done. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and suggest you paint your clear glaze over your wooden stem. When you're through painting your stem, you're also going to want to paint your clear coat over your jar. You can also spray paint the clear coat like I showed you before over your jar. When you've given your jar enough time to dry from your clear coat, I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions that you might like to use this jar for. I think this jar would also be cute to wrap a little bit of the jute cord around it as well. Maybe two to three times. This time, instead of a bow tie, we're just going to tie it in a knot and leave it like that. You might want to cut off the excess on this jar. I would suggest putting just a dab of glue in the center to hold your knot together. Suggestions I have for this jar. I think this jar would just be cute left as a decoration for fall. I would put a candle in it and make it into a little tea light. You could also put a color changing tea light in it as well. Those you can usually find at craft stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels usually has them. I'll show you what that looks like. That might be a better look for Halloween. That produces a nice soft glow in various colors. It's kind of hard to see all the different colors in the light in here, but you can see the colors better if you turn the lights off at your house. The only other suggestion I have for this jar would be maybe fill it up with some candy. For instance, I think, I think it would look nice maybe to put some candy corn in it or fall candies that maybe your guests could have as a treat. Or this also would be cute to make and give as a gift to a teacher or a friend who really likes Halloween or fall time. 